That's probably gonna be the hardest part of recreating my high school look is like recreating the travesty that were my eyebrows. I'm not about that life, like. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mama Hearts Makeup and today I'm going to be recreating how I did my makeup in high school. I'm so excited. There's lots of challenge videos making the rounds in YouTube world and honestly, I like watching them but recreating them really hasn't inspired me to make a video. So the first challenge video that I've personally seen that actually inspired me was this how I did my makeup in high school like recreation videos. Uh, I first saw Myra Touch of Glam's video. I think it's so funny. I saw that my girl Iris, I Irishelle 507, I'll tag all these people in the video so you can look them up. I saw her do her video. She is a riot and I love everything about her. And this morning, I saw that Kathleen Lights did one and she's, you know, she's just everything. Cosmoholics Anonymous did a video and she called it How to Never Do Your Makeup, which I think is very telling, at least for someone like me. Nobody taught me how to wear makeup or the proper way to wear makeup. My upbringing was very strict. I couldn't wear makeup until I was 14. Since I could finally start wearing makeup, I put on like 20 coats of mascara <laughs> and like 12 lip glosses on my face. It, it was it was ridiculous, but I, I thought I was looking good. I'll put pictures in. My eyebrows were a situation in and of themselves. I didn't pluck them. I didn't know how to pluck them. I was afraid to pluck them. So I remember for my birthday, my mom gave me a makeup bag, my first makeup bag, and it was filled with all kinds of makeup products. I was a bit hesitant to use some of the products because I, I didn't know how to use them. I like kept pinching my eye trying to use the eyelash curler. So I didn't want to blind myself, so I just stopped using an eyelash curler. I didn't use mascara on my lower lashes because I didn't know how to use it. So I would get mascara, you know, all on um, under my eye. And as far as um, eyeliner, I went in on that eyeliner. It looks like I'm a football player. It's just like black, huge lines under on my lower lashes and and I actually didn't start wearing actual foundation until I was well into my 20s almost close to 30s actually concealer I didn't wear concealer I never wore eyeshadow in high school I didn't know what contouring was I didn't know what highlight was like highlighter was those things I used in class like to take notes you know what I mean so when I was pulling together to recreate my high school look I almost passed out laughing. Like, honestly, this is it. Let me see this. Let me get rid of this modern face and try and recreate my also simpler days of makeup, my high school look. Okay, guys, I'm back. Kind of redid my hair, trying to recreate a look I used to do all the time back in the day. Actually, let me show you picture. Oh my gosh, don't judge me. This is me in ninth grade. Notice the hair. Did you see the eyebrows? This is me at 15. <laughs> oh lord, the brows. Do you see what I was talking about with those brows? The hair oh, requires so much explanation. Spiral perm. Spiral perm. Look it up. And as you can see, just the black liner. This one is not quite so bad. This is when I finally started doing my brows a bit. This is my grad night. I graduated in 92. So probably the hardest part for me to recreate will probably be those brows. Did you see those brows? Lord help me. Moisturize and sunscreen every day. I still do this. Even if I'm not going anywhere, I still moisturize my face. But back in them days, back in the days, it used to be, I wanna say Pond's. Do you remember Pond's cream? Um, this is the closest thing I have to a Pond's. It's very Pond's-like in this very similar jar. And I'm just gonna moisturize my face. Oh my God, it even, it even smells like Pond's. Oh gosh, now I remember why I stopped using this one. It's 
very greasy. Let me put the powder first and maybe set some of that cream because I don't want to put eyebrows on and then they're just going to slide right off. And I'm going to just go in like I used to back in the day. I didn't use any makeup brushes. I'm trying to think. What makeup brushes did I use? I didn't use makeup brushes. And for my blush, I probably used the little brush that would come with the blush compact. And it was only drugstore products that I ever used, but no high-end stuff ever. Like, no. I didn't have any high-end makeup until I was well into, I want to say in my 30s. Like, I've been wearing drugstore most of my life, certainly most of my makeup life, like kids today, yeah, they're way more sophisticated than than I ever was. I'm just going to use it with the little useless pad that it comes with and just put it on my face like I used to. Can, oh my god, this color. Okay. It's a lot darker than I thought. It's really not very easy to distribute with this little thing it comes with. It's looking a little patchy. I'm going to go over the brows a little bit just to take away some of that greasiness from that cream. <laughs> That's as good as it's gonna get for that. Let's try and do the brows. I never used a brow pencil, brow powder, but for today's recreation, I'm gonna have to try and recreate <laughs> those crazy square eyebrows. My recreation video of my high school look has many more years than some of the other YouTubers that have done this challenge. It's been over 20 years. So I'm gonna just try and make these brows bad. That sounds weird. I'm just gonna like fill in here. One of the re main reasons why this challenge inspired me so much is the comments I've gotten on some of my videos from like younger kids and they'll say things like, I wish I could do my makeup like you can or or, oh my gosh, I can't even, you know, put mascara on or, you know, things like that. And I love responding to comments and, and having a conversation with people on my videos. And I always try to be encouraging and explain, you know, it just takes practice. All the things that you see on YouTube, it's real life, but it's not real life. Do you know what I mean? Like, I did not look like this when, you know, I was 13, 14, 15. You know, it should be fun and it's definitely a process and practice, practice, practice. I don't know guys, I feel like I'm failing on this portion. I might have to finish up and then come back. I kind of like the way this one came out. This one is just really not cooperating with me. I have to start over. Let me do this brow and then I'll come back. Okay guys, I did the best I can with these crazy eyebrows. I'm pretty sure these look better than I ever had them in high school, but this is as close as I could get. Now let's move on to eyeliner. Um, I never put it in the waterline. I would only put it on the lash line. I think I tried to do the waterline a few times and I would just end up poking myself in the eye so I just, st I just stopped doing it. This is a lot better pencil than I ever had. They used to be very waxy, you know, like really hard to get on. So this is what I used to do. Just that on my... <laughs> On my lower lash line, oh my god, I'm seeing myself in the mirror here and it's ridiculous. And I'm almost positive it used to be actually great lash that I used to use all the time. And I just coat my lashes about 50 times. Oh no, you know what? I didn't put it on the lower lash line. I almost did it out of habit. You don't want to sit here through 20 coats, so let me finish up the mascara and then I'll be right back. <laughs> like, can you see? <laughs> I can't stop laughing at my own reflection. Oh my god. I, I didn't used to use an eyelash curler, and then when I finally did start using an eyelash curler, I did it so wrong. I would just curl like at the base, and then they would just kind of curl up like that. It didn't do much, but just hold it there for a thousand years and then just leave it where it was and from the front it looked fairly decent but if you ever saw the angle it was like straight up and then straight up Ugh. now for blush i don't have one of those little nonsense brushes on me so i'm going to use my actual blush brush and go in with this orangey kind of terracotta color I had no idea how to put blush on so I pretty much would just 
put racing stripes on my face. Until it looked insane. But what did I know? I thought I was looking cute. Then I would finish up with gloss. Now for gloss, I was very into colors like this. This is kind of like a brown frosty kind of color. Very similar to something I would have worn back in the day. But I would look at this color and not be satisfied with that. I would want it a little more sparkly. Put that over. See the frosty goodness. I've always been into sparkle. But the thing was, the lip glosses back then were super sticky. Like, you would talk and your lips would stick together. It was disgusting. So the third gloss, it was more just a clear gloss. And I would put that over the first two glosses to create kind of like a barrier. I used it as a layer over the sticky glosses to prevent my lips from sticking together. Does that make sense? And that was it. This is all I used to do. That was it. Um, there was no such thing as, you know, primer. There was no highlighter. There was no contour. This was my go-to look. This was the look I did every morning thinking I was fierce AF and probably looking like a crazy person. This is what I did and I loved it. <laughs> I really did. I loved it certainly at the time. And when I look back at my pictures, you know, I was happy. I, I wasn't worried about it. Uh, I didn't focus too much at that time on makeup. That wasn't the most important thing to me. And it certainly shouldn't be the most important thing to you. You know, it's definitely a huge learning curve. And the only way to get better or master a certain technique is to practice. And you'll get better and you'll get more comfortable soon you'll be an expert. So thank you so much for watching. I hope it was entertaining to you and hopefully this inspires you as well, you know, to recreate or to at least go back and reminisce on the good old days of high school when things were much simpler. And that's it. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.